Hi, welcome to Babel, the show that's all about putting words in other people's mouths. Newsreels, old movies, and sometimes even your favorite TV shows. You never know who's going to Babel next. You'll see videos that you may recognize from the past, telling a story in a fun new way. Take a look now at this first clip. It's from an award-winning commercial film from the 1950s. And with the magic of Babel, it becomes the story of a journey with a mysterious character. a story about a group of travelers moving down a super highway of modern America. Little do they know that they're on a journey of dreams, magic, and life-changing encounters. The people could be you, or me, or the neighbor next door. We all have dreams. We all have wishes. Our story begins on a remote desert road somewhere in the American Northwest. Meet little Kenneth Basilworth. He's a runaway from the public school system in one of the nation's largest cities. Determined to get a decent education, he stole his sister's Boy Scout uniform and hopped the Starline Express, bound for anywhere. Hey there, son. Do you like birds? Sure. I like birds. And if you look very carefully, you'll see all kinds of rare birds out here. Especially the Northwestern Hooded Condor. They eat kids, you know. Huh? Uh, or rather, their eyes. Yep, they love eyeballs. And this man is the main focus of our journey. He's a very magical being not normally seen in this area, except for certain scary areas down by the waterfront district. Hello there, young man. Don't be afraid. I am a genie from a time long past. And I'm here today to grant some of you a wish. But not all of you will be able to choose well, and you'll curse the day that you ever saw me. But don't worry. You have a lot of years ahead of you to blame your parents. What do you mean you're a genie? If he's a genie, then where's his lap? <laughs> well, I got rid of my lamp a long time ago. Traded it in for a stylish modern lady's handbag. Lots of room and there's always chapstick and gum when you need it. Who could live in my handbag? Star athlete Bentley Stemclot spends his trip trying to woo a lady fair. You know I'm a star football player. If you're my girlfriend, I can get you discounts. Do you like core dogs? I'm allergic. Oh, mm, too bad. Mm, I see. Mm, oh well. So, do you think you can make a wish? Who, me? Sure, why shouldn't you get a chance of making a wish like everybody else? What would your wish be? I'd cause harm to others if I did. Well, I can live with that. But Bentley, I can't be your girl. I barely know you. I barely know myself. Mother said it was important. But you're grown up now. You can do whatever you want to. Give me a try. Sure, I'm grown up. I sleep with the light off. Every night. Oh, you are a big girl. I'll convince you. I'm the perfect man for you. Oh, uh, yeah. Hey, runaway kid. Yes, old man? If you get one of the wishes, I was wondering, what will you wish for? Why, I want to own a cowboy. You mean you wish you were a cowboy? Eating beans by the fire every day. So that's what that smell was. Come on, Mr. Genie, we're tired of waiting. Patience, Bentley. I want the first wish. I wish for Pascetti. Okay, I'll grant the first wish. The runaway gets his cowboy. Wow, I own a cowboy. Do some cowboy stuff. You mean like roping? Shoot another cowboy. Well, that's a bit violent for my blood, son. How about a rope trick? Well, you're my cowboy now, and I say do something or I'll hold my breath. Well, that could be fun, but I'll tell you what. I'll sing you one cowboy song. I do not ride a horse because I've got a moped. I do not go to dances until my llamas are fed. I should have wished for a supermodel. Okay, final offer, baby. A house in Florida, an open relationship, and we have dinner every other month together. I really want you to marry me, and I'll throw in that old lady as a bonus out there. Hello. What about me? Do I get a wish? Yes, you do get a turn. After this trip, do you know what you want? Boy, do I. And what did she wish for? Why, the perfect man, of course. Oh, he's perfect. He doesn't talk, and he won't leave his shorts on the floor. I'm in love. And what was it this guy wished for? 
Why, he had always wanted to tour the country as an Abraham Lincoln impersonator. But the truth is, my friends, you can't handle the truth. And what about the genie? Some say you can go down by the old cemetery and find him wandering there, looking for more people to grant wishes to. But don't go in there, it's scary. You'd be better off just taking your own journey on the Starline Express. We asked viewers to send in bits of their home movies so that our creative team, who's locked down the basement, can view them and maybe babble them into a whole new story. See if you can recognize your family's adventures in this short with Babble Home Movie. Yes, yeah, so we're like uh, going on a road trip. Yeah, I'm the navigator. Got my road atlas right here. Yep. Yeah. Gonna get us there to Canada. Yeah. Decided to go there because, uh, you know, it's up there. Good place to go. It's a big place. Fun place. Uh, yeah. Lots of fun. I'm going to Canada. Gotta go. Gonna be on a Canada American Idol. Gonna take over the country. Be a star. Yeah. The Canadian bacon. I'm sorry, I won't be able to talk to you when we get there because I'll be busy doing star things, but don't think me rude, it's just the way we are. Canadian bacon and syrup, mmm. Oh yeah, uh, hello there. Oh uh, yeah, we're going to Canada because yeah, we've never been there. They've got mooses and trees and like uh, Canadian people and uh, big hats and fuzzy stuff because it's cold. We'll be there soon and... Hey, looks like we're coming to, uh, Tijuana? Uh-oh, I have the map upside down. Have you guys ever been to Mexico? Critters are always funny all by themselves. But what happens if you take harmless animal videos and give them a whole new twist? Well, you get Babel Animals. Let me in the club. I want to be in the club. No boys allowed. Visiting a sick friend, are we, Jesse? Well, we'll just see about that. Oh, 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 oh uh, uh, hey there, Sarah, honey. <laughs> just catching a fish for my uh, friend, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, Polly, I wish I could fly like you. <laughs> Wishes come true. Wishes come true. Hey, Frankie, I heard a mouse down there. Uh, really, Joey? A mouse? Go ahead, take a closer look. Yeah, he's all yours, buddy. <laughs> oh, let me try, let me try. I wanna try. Hey, yeah, yeah, I can do it, I can do it. Look at me, I can do it. <laughs> I can't find me vitamins. Can anyone see my vitamins, whiskers? Oh, that cat probably got them. Oh, look, it's Bob's vitamins. Hmm. How did that happen? No, they're not in here! <laughs> well, that's all for this edition of Babel. Join us next time for another set of stories with a Babel twist. See you next time.